Hey, I'm Avinash and in this video, we are going to discuss what are the important automations you can apply in your e-commerce store. In this video, we are going to specifically talk all the automations which are related to Zapier because it is one of the, I would not say best, but it is yes, one of the good tool with which you can actually do your automation. This video is specifically for small businesses or startups who do not have coding knowledge. So in this video, we are going to understand how you can actually leverage the no code or low code platforms to actually implement automation for your store now how many times it has happened with you a customer has filled a form you did not get any notification and you potentially missed what was supposed to be done they had a refund maybe they had a feedback they had some question and you were looking it after two days where the ship was already sailed well we can prevent it obviously the automation can prevent it and how let's try to understand well first automation is for customer feedback obviously this can be used in various different ways but obviously i have seen a lot of people are using this kind of a way so i'm going to explain in this kind of a fashion well you have to take a provider obviously for form input you can have a type form and when someone fills the data you can get the notification in slack slack is a free tool so you don't have to worry about making more money or i should say spending more money on various tools so what will happen once someone submits a form in thai form you will get a notification in your slack now you can have this question okay some features are already available i don't have to actually specially take this kind of an automation thing i just want to mention one thing these notifications are not limited just for you you can send those notification to your refund channel you can uh, send those notification to customer feedback channel so try to understand that you can customize where this information will flow and this actually makes a great impact where you don't want to be involved in day-to-day -day operations now if you own a shopify store obviously when someone places an order you get the notification or your mobile phone as well as on email customer get the confirmation of the order but obviously you can customize the message as per your requirement and you don't have to wake up at 3 a.m in the morning once the customer has placed the order and then send them the order what you can do actually here is you can actually implement a automation part of zapier where you can send email or gmail for a new page shopify orders now again the question is if i'm already sending the invoice what could be the reason for that well obviously the answer is very specific that you want to make sure that the customers are delighted now we have seen in our previous examples or i should say in previous of our clients where when they were sending these kind of emails i'm not saying that specifically these kind of emails but yes something email related to that okay i just saw that you have purchased this kind of a stuff now we have something available for you so we are going to give you a complimentary kind of a thing so you can customize this flow now once this is customized you don't have to do anything else so you can see this is how it is going to actually make an impact so as soon as someone places a new order you can actually customize the email so it will be sent directly to their email addresses and they will be delighted because obviously you're taking an extra care for them now obviously if one of the marketing medium for you is youtube and you don't want to give everyone the access to that particular youtube channel what you can do you can ask your video editing team that hey once you have done the editing part upload that video on a specific folder on dropbox and zapier is going to upload a new dropbox file to your youtube as videos now how this is advanced this is actually important if you're working in a remote environment where you don't want to ask them to upload to their dropbox then you will download that and then you will upload it again well you can do one thing which is actually implementing automation where you can upload your videos on youtube automatically using this specific flow now how this works is very simple you design that you want to upload a video on a specific dropbox folder and once it receives a trigger on zapier it will actually upload a video on youtube now try to understand this is very important if you're a small business owner because here you are preventing your data breach if i may and you're also preventing no one has the access to your youtube channel if you don't feel like you want to give it to them last week your marketing team released a new campaign and you want to see what is the actual report now you either have to ask them you have to open google analytics and you have to see that and you have to understand what happened well that is waste of time 
what you can do, you can actually automate the report process. So you can see here you're connecting your Google Analytics account with Slack. And obviously what is happening, send Slack channel messages for a new goals in Google Analytics. So what you can do here is obviously automate the report generation process and you can send it to the specific Slack channel. So your marketing team can understand, okay, we ran this particular marketing campaign for like, let's say $1,500 and what is the ROI we have received without opening Google Analytics or special tools. They can get all the vital information on Slack. Now, if you're using Stripe to actually take payment from customers, probably this is one of the flow which you do. Once the customer has paid the subscription or paid the money for the particular product they are buying, you're going to pick it them and you're going to put it to your email list. Well, this can be automated as well. You don't have to do any special thing. What you have to do, you have to use the next flow, which is add new Stripe customers to MailChimp list. So what will happen when someone's actually purchases something, Stripe is going to give you the details of that particular customer and you can automatically add them in your email list. You can also make a list where you have the customers who have actually purchased something from you so you can have a special altogether marketing campaign. So you don't have to do anything manually again and again specific, specifically for the people who have already purchased something from you. Now, if you have the habit of generating invoices manually and you're using a tool like QuickBooks, what you can do now here is when someone places a new order in your Shopify account, what you can do, you can actually send automatic QuickBook invoices to your customers directly with this automatic invoice automation. Now here, what you have to do, you have to connect your QuickBook account and you have to connect your Shopify account. And once that is done, you don't have to worry about anything. You can actually send QuickBook invoices from your Shopify store to the customers without lifting a finger. Now try to understand, as I mentioned, all these automations are quite important. But the most important thing is, do I actually need this kind of an automation? What kind of an automation is required? And if you're watching this video, you understand the importance of automation. And if you feel like the automation which you are doing is probably not good. And if you feel like these automations are not sufficient and you need something else, for obvious reasons, what you can do, you can reach us out and we can assist you making the customized automation or the automation we can suggest you so that you can actually make sure that you'll sleep worry free so for the next video make sure that you are implementing these automations if you need some suggestions if you have some questions obviously put them in the comment section and someone from our team are going to respond to your queries